Hi, I'm Ian. In this video, we're going to cover how to calculate how much income tax you will have to pay, as well as what other deductions will come from your paycheck. Now, this is a really important topic for those of you who are not yet in Canada, or if you're in Canada looking for a job. This will help you calculate how much pay you will actually take home at the end of the month. So let's get started. Here we go. So the first thing you want to do is open up Google search or whatever search engine you use on your web browser. And you can do this on a phone, but I'm using my computer. We're going to type in to search. We're going to type in take home pay calculator Canada and the year is 2022. And if you're using Google, it will be the first hit. Uh, it says take tax take home pay calculator for 2022.xls-eesfinancial. financial. And if you're if you can't find it through search, look in the description of this video and I will put a link there. So you can go directly to the link in the description and and you'll have the website. All right, so this is our take home pay calculator or personal income tax calculator for 2022. Now this may not be perfect, it may not give you the exact numbers, but it's really useful for planning and it should give you an approximate amount. So what you do first is you choose the province. I'm in Nova Scotia, uh, maybe you're planning to live in Ontario, so you would choose that. Maybe you're already living in Alberta, so you'll choose that. But why don't we start with Ontario because it has the most people. Now in the first box, it says to enter your earned income. This is your gross income or the total income per year that you would be earning in your job. It starts us off at 100,000. I wish I made 100,000. So let's go with 60,000 to begin with. And all you need to do is type in that number and then click on another box. And it's gonna do all the calculations for us. Don't worry at this point about all these other boxes right now. Those aren't important at this point. All we have to do is scroll down and it tells us exactly how much personal tax. This is our income tax. And some of this money goes to the federal government and some goes to the provincial government. We'll do a couple more examples and you'll see how much difference there is from province to province. In Ontario, if you earn 60,000, your income tax is going to be about 10,000. So it's about what, uh, less than 20%. The next line is CPP. This stands for Canada Pension Plan. And that will be $3,221. This is not really a tax. This is money you're going to get back later if you live long enough. If you live into your 60s and 70s and 80s, you will get income from the government through the Canada Pension Plan. So some people say this is a tax, but not really. It's kind of like your pension retirement plan. The next line is for EI. This stands for Employment Insurance. Now this one is kind of like a tax. Um, this helps to support people who lose their job, uh, who take time off to raise a child, um, and maybe someone who gets a disability and they need to get payments through this employment insurance plan. And it's almost $1,000 for somebody earning $60,000 in Ontario. That leaves us with our take-home pay. So this is the actual pay that goes into your bank account if you're getting a direct deposit from your employer. And you'd be getting about $45,600. And then they break it down monthly. So monthly, you'd be getting $3,800. Semi-monthly, which would be twice a month, is $1,902. Bi-weekly, this is every two weeks. And this is $1,756. That's, that's pretty much all you really need at this point. Um, and then you can start to budget and you say, oh, 
my income is 3,800, this is what I get to take home, and then I'm gonna spend this much on my apartment, this much on food, blah, blah, blah. If we go down below, this is where it gets interesting because we can see the different provinces and territories. Like I said before, there are different tax rates in different provinces. Let's look at Nova Scotia because that's where I am. Uh, 12,800 just in taxes. And remember in Ontario, it's a little over 10,000. If you make the same salary in Nova Scotia, you're paying more than 2,700 or so dollars in tax. So keep that in mind. Uh, maybe houses are a bit cheaper in Nova Scotia, but taxes, income taxes are higher. And then um, let's see which one has the lowest. So Nova Scotia is often the highest tax rate, not always, but usually among the highest. New Brunswick is a bit less, Prince Edward Island a bit less, Newfoundland a bit less, but all of those Atlantic provinces are around the same. Uh, Quebec is quite high at that income level. Ontario has one of the better tax rates, around 10,000. Manitoba, not great. Saskatchewan, not bad. Alberta, about the same as Ontario at that income level. But then down here, we get British Columbia, and it's quite a bit less than Ontario. 9,452, or 54. That's not bad. Um, Northwest Territories, also similar. Nunavut has the lowest. So Nunavut is a territory in the north of Canada. It, it's very low there. The income tax rates are very low. There are some other challenges about living in Nunavut. Um, but the tax rate is low. So there you have it. Let's do another example. And let's say, uh, oh, sorry. I wanted to also talk about the average tax rate. The average tax rate is the average of all your income. Uh, this is the one that's important for calculating how much tax you're going to pay. So Nova Scotia is about 21%. Ontario is about 17%. And then British Columbia is about 15%. And you can take a look at all the different provinces' average tax rate. The last column, the marginal tax rate, is a little bit confusing for some people. Um, this is the tax rate you would pay on one dollar, or the last dollar that you earned. How much tax you would pay on that dollar. Because the way our tax system works, uh, the first dollar you make is really not taxed in Canada. And it goes up till, you know, about $12,000 or $13,000. If you earn less than that in a year, you're not going to really be paying any income tax. But as your income goes higher and higher, you pay a higher percentage of tax on that income. The marginal tax rate is kind of important if you're getting a raise, if you're earning extra income then you might want to consider what the marginal tax rate is, but really the average rate is the most important thing. Let's do another example. Let's say a really, you know, pretty low income, and let's say $12,000. If you earn $12,000 a year in Ontario, you pay only $9 in tax and, and probably even less than that. So I, I don't think you would pay any tax at all in Ontario if you earn 12,000 or less. And it's, it's pretty much the same all across Canada. And there are also some tax credits, refundable tax credits that you can get to actually give you more money back. So really low income, you're not gonna pay any tax. Let's look at a higher income, let's say 100,000. I wish, right? All right, in Ontario, on a $100,000 salary, you're looking at $22,000 or more in tax. Your Canada Pension Plan would also, the payments to that would increase to say $3,500, and your EI payments would also increase a little bit. But those are capped at a certain level. So at a certain level, you're not gonna pay more than this. They don't keep going up and up. Your take-home pay would be 72800 
your monthly take home pay would be over 6,000. And then you can go through the semi monthly and bi weekly figures. Let's compare that to Nova Scotia just for fun. Uh, so here you would pay 22,000 in tax in Nova Scotia. Oh, 27,000. $663. So it's a big difference. Over $5,000, about $5,000 difference just by living in a different province in Canada. That's because Ontario generally has lower personal income tax rates than Nova Scotia and many of the other Atlantic provinces. Which one has the lowest? Again, it's none of it. In terms of the provinces, it's British Columbia. So British Columbia has quite a low income tax rate. Let's do one more and let's just for fun say a million. Maybe some of you viewers out there are earning a million dollars a year. I'm not yet, but maybe someday. Let's put in a million and then we can see, wow. Our tax is almost 50%, so $495,000. Like I said, the CPP and the EI are capped at that maximum level. And we take home a little bit less than half of our income. So out of a million dollars, we get to keep five, almost 500,000. Wow. And the average tax rates in Ontario is 49%. Nova Scotia is over 50%. Ouch. So really, really high income levels in Canada. Um, you're going to be paying about 50% tax. Some provinces are lower. In this case, British Columbia is not the lowest, right? It's 48%. But Alberta, Saskatchewan, even Manitoba have lower average tax rates than British Columbia at that really, really high income level. I'm going to show you one more thing and then we're done with this video. Um, if you are planning for your retirement and you want to save some money on taxes, an RRSP is a really good solution to that problem. Let's go back to our $100,000 example in Ontario. And we, the government allows us to put some money into an RRSP, Registered Retirement Savings Plan. If you want to know more about RRSP, I made another video about the different investment accounts in Canada. So we're not going to talk about that here. Let's say we put in the maximum 18% of our RRSP contribution room. So instead of 22600 in taxes, if we put money into our RRSP account, it lowers the amount of tax we pay. And we only pay 16,000. We do have to put this money aside and invest it. So we don't have access to that $18,000 yet, but we will in the future. But that's a really great way to lower your, your taxes is by putting money away into your RRSP account for later. So just to show you again, we went from $22,690 in tax to under $17,000 in tax. So that's a big savings. We've saved over $5,000 in tax. That's why the RRSP is, is really valuable and important for people. So that's it. Um, that's our video. Um, I just wanted to show you this tool. It's a really useful tool. Um, and I encourage you to go out and play around with this tool, put it on your phone or your computer, check out how much taxes you pay, and you might want to consider relocating to Canada. If you had a plan to come to Nova Scotia and you look at this calculator and say, wow, it's much cheaper in British Columbia or Alberta, maybe that will factor into your decision on where you want to live. So that's it. That's all you really need to know about calculating your take home pay in Canada. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comments section. I'll see you next time.